Hi, my name is Chloe Dominguez and I'm going to do my film presentation on Better Look Tomorrow. Now, what is this film about? Better film? Better Luck Tomorrow is a drama film directed by Justin Lin that was released in 2002 in the United States. The film follows a group of Asian American overachievers who become dissatisfied with their life and enter a world of petty crime and materialism. Quote unquote, Better Luck Tomorrow is a dark and well-told tale about growing up in America today. These young teens see money as a measure of success and are deeply immoral and execute a whole some civic-minded demeanor, quote, by Roger Ebert, 2003. Now, when a, basically this film is when a group of overachieving East Asian American high school seniors engage in extracurricular illegal activities, they experience a power high. Now, how do people perceive this film? Well, some have panned Better Luck Tomorrow for its violent subject matter and immoral protagonists, while others have praised it for keen humor and elegant contempt for convention. Ben. Perry Shen, an overachieving upper-class suburb teen with a tendency for minor criminality, is the protagonist of the film. It's a representation of Asian American teenagers that has enraged some Sundance attendees who have taken their rage out on director Justin Lin, quote, by Ryan J. Downey, 2003. Now, there was a person who, quote, there was a person who stood up and said, how could you make a movie that was so um, denigrating to your race? Explained John Chow, who plays Steve while hanging near a basketball court at LA's Pan Pacific Park. Ebert stood up and said, quote, you wouldn't say that to a white filmmaker, quote, which is probably true, quote, by Ryan J. Downey. Now, people, after that comment, people pay attention after Ebert vet vehemently defended the film, going on to declare that Asian Americans should be able to play any role that they want without fear of portraying the entire culture. Now, the negative stereotypes. This film allows itself the freedom to present negative images in my point of view. Now, here's some examples to back that up. Quote, in the film, these kids never allude or to or identify themselves as belonging to a specific ethnic group. They're dubbed the quote unquote Chinese mafia in this film at school because of their low key illegal activities, but they don't call themselves that. They may be Chinese, Japanese, Korean, or Filipino, but they're merely Oregon County Americans. Qu quote by Roger Ebert, 2003. Another example is the fight for Asian American representation frequently suggests that Asian Americans must be someone with remarkable attributes or accomplishments in order to recognize as quote unquote positive representation. However, as Lynn has stated, quote, a lot of people misconstrue the positive to mean noble and flawless characters. The positive should really mean three dimensional characters, quote. As a result, while the fight against whitewashed superiors, cyborgs, pilots, and mystics continues the Asian American nobody whose life is mundane and whose identity is indeter indeterminate, indeterminate is pushed to the side as a lesser priority. Quote by Kelly Dong, 2016. Now, here are some stereotype analysis examples. Quote, Ben is a Filipino high school American, a Filipino high school student who spends his days studying SAT words 
engaging in numerous after-school activities, playing hoops for the school. His life is marked by a never-ending sense of ennui, with the hanging carrot of college graduation serving as a sole way of escape. Quote, all of that studying finally pays off, quote. Vir Virgil, his friend, says, quote, because you get to escape this hellhole early, quote. Lynn image imagines an Asian American identity based on both living up to and sustaining a public image through Ben, period. Ben presents his yearbook photos and framed employee of the month photos as an introduction, as if to persuade us that he is unique and deserving of our attention, quote by Kelly Dahl in 2016. The following is a page from a school paper under the title, Born to Warm. Ben sits in the bleachers. According to the account, Ben is on the basketball team solely to fulfill, quote unquote, an affirmative action quota. Ben's concern is that he'll never fit in, that his Asian Americanness would doom him, is embodied in this photograph with his gang of, with his quote unquote gang. And Han, he, he tries to develop a new reputation as a quote unquote bad child who distributes drugs and cheat sheets. Even his decent appears to be a show for the audience, a frantic plea for attention by Kelly Dong. Well, quote by Kelly Dong. Now, how does this relate to course discussions? Well, this relates to gendered portrayals like the emasculation of Asian American men. Portrayed as in this film, the men are portrayed as fighters, gangster types, you know, hyper violent criminals, which is shown all throughout this film. And relate, it is related to Better Luck Tomorrow with these teens engaging in extracurricular illegal activities, and as well as the woman he and he, in the film are made to look as these exotic sexual types as you know submitted but they are more than that now why is this important because the core of the truth inside a stereotype is occasionally jumbled together with an even greater percentage untruth it can cause tremendous misunderstandings because they will frequently work with individuals who may or may not meet the stereotype notion Cross-cultural managers must be mindful of these stereotypes. Now, stereotypes have long been used by storytellers as a shorthand for describing characters. Stereotypes, on the other hand, are destructive, as we all know. They can help to perpetuate unfavorable stereotypes, discrimination, and foster unsympathetic attitudes against certain groups. Now, it's important to have diversity in films because diverse representation also opens up to new and better opportunities for others. Now, and here's my references. And thank you so much for hearing and listening to my presentation.